Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And before we begin, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8, the link is in the description. Okay, so click X to delete the default cube, and then go to Add, Mesh, and then let's add a monkey. Then click S to scale, and then let's go into the modifiers to increase the amount of polygons. So click Add Modifier. And then subdivision surface modifier and set the amount of subdivisions to a three and then apply the modifier then go to object and then add smooth shading as well okay so let's add the cloth so uh, go to add mesh and then add a plane then click g then set to grab the uh, plane on the set axis then click s to scale and then we need to subdivide the plane for the simulation so let's go into edit mode And then click W, and then subdivide. And then let's go to the bottom left and increase the amount of subdivisions. So let's set it to 30 or 50, for example. And uh, then let's go back to object mode. And let's add the uh, physics. So uh, let's start off with the cloth. So we'll add the uh, cloth physics. And then let's increase the uh, quality of the simulation. So let's set it to 10 for the quality steps. And uh, let's also go down to uh, collision and set the, the quality under collision to 5. And then turn on self collision as well. And then we need to select the monkey and add a collision so that the cloth can collide with the uh, monkey. And then let's uh, go to cache and bake the simulation. And I decided to speed up the baking part, so after a few minutes of baking, we have the simulation. So uh, as you can see, it works great. So uh, let's also add the uh, subdivision surface modifier to the cloth. So uh, go to add modifier, and then subdivision surface modifier to add additional uh, polygons to the cloth. The next step of the tutorial is to add some thickness to the cloth. So uh, let's go to add modifier and add the solidify modifier and then let's set the value to uh, minus 0 0.01 and then let's set up the lighting so uh, let's uh, start off by selecting the light source and uh, go into the light settings change it into a sun and click r then set to rotate the sun on the z-axis and then let's set the strength to 15. okay and uh, then let's go into rendered view and let's also switch to cycles, which uh, looks a lot better. And if you have a, a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then let's set the amount of samples to 200, both for the render and the viewport. And uh, let's also change the background color. So I'll go into the world settings. And let's make it completely white. And then let's select the cloth and add a material for the cloth. So I'll click new and then change the shader to the diffuse type. And let's make it blue. You can obviously add whatever color you want, but I'm just going to make it blue. And uh, then let's select the monkey and add a material for the monkey as well. And for the monkey, I'm going to use the uh, principal shader. So uh, let's click new, the materials. And uh, for the uh, color, just uh, choose whatever color you want. Then click number zero to look through the camera. Then click N and go to view. And then lock the camera to view. Okay, so something like this. And then let's go into the render and output settings. If you have a GPU, you can decrease the render time by increasing the tile size under performance. But if you only have a CPU, you can just uh, leave it at 64. And then let's go into the output settings and change the frame rate to 30, which uh, looks a lot better. And then let's uh, use the AVI JPEG file format and set the quality to 100%. And then select a folder on your computer for the final animation, give the animation a name, and then click enter. Before we start rendering the whole animation, let's just uh, do a test render. So select a frame, 
then go up to render and then let's change the display mode to the image editor and then click render image and I speeded up the rendering and now it's time to render the whole animation so just click render and then render animation and uh, that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon so thank you guys for watching and subscribe